we've opened that place. Mm. Why can't I like, animate, like, managed to make the hair animated as well by putting it in front of my face? Can I turn around? Yep, it blows backwards. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty awesome stuff there. So we're going to head into the woods to find this deer. It does look like a horse or some guy with a hat on that flag. The way they've got the holes and everything. Really weird. But as I was saying, it's kind of strange that on cars, the flap at the front where you go into the engine and stuff is called either a bonnet or a hood. But it's really neither. It's like more of a hatch, but no one calls it that. Also, the back of the car being called the boot or a trunk is also somewhat strange too. Yeah, we're going to follow a deer through a small copse of trees. It reminds me of a place I saw in a dream once. And it was more hilly and oak trees and willows and had a waterfall. It's a lot greener. Closing on on you, dear. I bet he's got. I bet he swallowed a crowbar or something that we could use to get the planks off. Car from Harry Potter. Some kind of tree. It's crashed into it. Oh, my body again. My dead body hanging from a tree. I should be scared, but I just feel empty. Wait, is that shiny thing on her neck? Is that key? Search. My body's too high. I can't reach. There's a caravan here. Can I enjoy it? I hope the music's not too loud. Then. I hope you can hear me okay with the music. Uh, there's not really any options to turn the music sounds down. So I guess I'm just going to have to speak a little bit louder. It would take me hours to undo this now. But we're dead, we've got hours, haven't we? Explanation. No explanation at all. It's pretty funky music though. Oh. I can't remember this place. Am I lost? I think we might be. What are those on your arm? Are those freckles? That was weird. Very weird indeed. So this one? More graveyard. It's a pretty massive forest. Okay. Go up 
pig and a bunk jack. Salmon. What a gruesome display. At least it's not my head stuck on the bars. Yeah, that would be kind of gross. More gross than that. Upwards. Yes. Are we going that way? Are we just gonna scare the? Okay, I should be going the other way then. That's why we can't deal with deer. So we killed it. Deer. Salmon. Who's done this? Is there anyone else here? Start the light. Certainly is a door. And bolt. Yep. The door gets get away from the flies. And we're back here again. Right, so we need to press it down. to go deeper. Gates 
again. I think this is the right way. It's hard to tell, this place is, is crazy. This place does not exist on the um, logic. Welcome to my house, Susan Ashworth. I have been waiting for you, my dear. I knew you would turn up one fine day like this. Who... who are you? I have so many names, it's hard to pick one. But I'm curious. Who do you think I am? Death, an old lady that lives in the woods. Are you God? Are you the devil? Let's go with death. Death? Interesting. Yes, perhaps that's what I am. I come when there's something to take, but I never give anything back. I am doom, but I'm salvation too. I'm feared by most, but adored by some also. Some like yourself, Susan. Don't flatter yourself, old lady. I don't even know you. Well, that's not quite right. I've been around for a while. Keeping you company. Always there, you know? What's that accent from? Always there. So I was wrong. You're not death? No, I am not. Perhaps? I am life. But then again, does it really matter? What is this place called? What will happen next? What will happen next? It depends on you, Susan. Inside my house, there are dark hallways that lead to places you don't want to see. But there is also something that will make you want to return to where you came from and cherish every single little breath you take. I'm going to make you an offer, Susan. It's a chance only a fool would refuse. Okay. An offer? What can you offer me? Let's come inside. Inside. We have to go inside. It's the getting place. cold out here. Go inside the crazy death lady's house. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Oh, that was a Seashore. 
Please don't touch anything, dear. I wasn't going to. You lied to the whole world, Susan. And you lied to yourself. I guess that's uh, another world. Strange lady. Yes, let's continue to talk to you. Look at it. Is she really here? Maybe this is all just a dream after all. Now we can talk properly, my dear. I still don't know where you're who you are. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Is there anyone else here? Uh, maybe we'll ask that first. Is there anyone else here? <laughs> Hi. I thought you liked being alone. Yeah, it's nice. Isn't that why you ran away from everyone? It doesn't matter. I was standing right behind you when you threw away all those photographs, you know? brushed your hair every night you cried yourself to sleep. I saw everything. I know what you want. But it's not here. It's gone. And it will never, ever come again. Will I be punished for taking my own life? Most people would be, but not you, Susan. You see, I watched you long enough to understand how you feel. I don't expect you to believe me, but I actually have sympathy for you. Who knows? Ah, it could be your only friend. The only friend in the whole wide world. So like I said, I'm going to make you an offer. I want to help you. I will give you back your happiness in exchange for a simple task. Your life will change completely. You will be yourself again. 